have two small spheres here that are connected by a lightweight stick. This one's solid wood and big. This one is a hollow plastic wiffle ball, really lightweight. And right now they are balanced. I have the, uh, the string here attached to the stick at just the right place so that it balances. So we call that a balance point or a more technical term is center of mass. See, if I put the string anywhere else, like there, it doesn't balance. Or if I put it right there, it doesn't balance. Only right there does it balance. And the Earth and the Moon are also two spheres. They're not connected by a stick, but they still have a center of mass. And in fact, the center of mass of the Earth and the Moon is the point around which both the uh, Earth and the Moon will turn over the course of a month, will orbit. So here, with my uh, wooden stick here, they're going in a circle around the balance point. You can see even the larger one is, once a uh, revolution, is wobbling. Well, the Earth and the Moon do the same thing. They both move around this point. If you look at it in isolation, not comparing to the, or worrying about the orbit around the sun, you just look at the Earth and the Moon system, they're both moving around the center of mass of the system. So the question that I am raising now is, where is the balance point between the Earth and the Moon? And it depends on their masses. The basic idea here is that um, the balance point is going to be closer to the heavier object, and this distance from the center to the balance point compared to the distance to the other object to the balance point is in the same ratio as the ratio of the masses. So let's take a look. I'm going to draw the Earth, and I'm going to draw the Moon. These are not to scale, but this distance from center of the Earth to the center of the Moon is about uh, 384,000 kilometers. And the mass of the Earth, I'm going to put a big E here for Earth, big M here for Moon, and the mass of the Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. Now, that's a funny way of writing it. This is called scientific notation. We have a number with a decimal point. And when you multiply a number by a decimal point by 10, you move the decimal point one place to the right. Well, here I'm multiplying it by 10 24 times. So it's equivalent to writing 5 and then moving the decimal point 24 places to the right, 597. So the mass of the Earth can also be written as 5. That's where the decimal point was. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 kilograms. That number of kilograms is the mass of Earth. And the mass of the Moon is uh, quite a bit smaller. It's 0 0.0735 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. And you look at that 0 0.0735, that looks pretty small, right? But the mass of the moon, 0 0.0735. We're starting with the decimal point here. I'm going to erase it, and I'm going to move 24 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 kilograms. And we don't need this zero here. And so it's a big number. It's a lot of kilograms in the moon, but significantly less than the Earth. So if I take the mass of the Earth divided by the mass of the moon, it turns out that that ratio is about 81. In other words, you could take 81 moons and mash them together, you'd have the same mass as the Earth. Now the relationship between these masses and the distance to the center of mass is, well, let me go ahead and mark here is the center of mass, and I'm going to call this distance xe, and I'm going to call this distance xm. And so the relationship is that uh, me xe is mm xm. And 
if I solve this for, if I, if, I, if I divide both sides by xe, then I get xm over xe over here, and I divide both sides by mm, I get these two ratios are equal to each other, but notice the earth is on top here and the earth is on the bottom here. So what this is saying is the mass of the earth over the mass of the moon, well that's 81, that's this ratio, this number divided by that, is the same as this ratio. And so the distance from the center of mass to the center of the moon is 81 times the distance from the center of the earth to the center of mass of the system. And so now we can look at it and we can say, okay, if, if we call this one unit, this distance, this is 81 units, that gives you a total of 82 units. And the Earth to the center of mass distance is one of those. So Xe is 182nd of the distance from the center of the Earth to the center of the Moon. And so that's 182nd of 384,000 kilometers. By the way, that's the kind of average distance. The Earth's orbit, uh, the Moon's orbit is not uh, perfectly circular, so it does vary somewhat, but this is the average distance. And so you get an average distance of the Earth from the center of mass of about 4,700 kilometers. 4,700 kilometers as being this distance. Now the radius of the Earth, from the center of the Earth to the surface of the Earth, the radius of the Earth is around 6,400 kilometers. So in fact, this is less than that, which means my diagram that I originally drew, which kind of matched this, where the center of mass was outside this ball, is actually incorrect. The center of mass is actually inside the Earth. It's actually inside the Earth uh, 4,700 kilometers from the center, but that is below the surface. And so the, uh, the Earth does this. Once a month, as the moon orbits, the Earth also orbits this point, the balance point or center of mass of the Earth-Moon system.